homeowners caught in the trap of an upside down mortgage are in for a wild ride. It's like being on a roller coaster, except you never really know how to get off it. What does it mean when your home is worth less than what you owe to the bank? How did you even get yourself into the situation and how can you get yourself out of the situation? It's exactly what we're talking about today. Upside down mortgage is a term to described as a situation where the balance that is owed on the mortgage loan is higher than the current market value of the property. Some may refer to it as underwater on a mortgage. I'm sure you heard the term like that. So let's take a look at the key aspect of the upside down mortgage in general. First, is actually the balance that is remaining on the loan. It exceeds the current market value conditions. In today's real estate market, it's unlikely and not so common, but I will get into a little bit later on how this can still happen. Even though the real estate market has been increasing and just 12% the last year only. Let's look at the scenarios that can lead to an upside down mortgage. It really is very much connected to economic factors that influence the values of the properties in a particular location or multiple locations. During the economic downturns, if and when the real estate market changes downward, Home values can depreciate. Remember 2008. Some of you remember that. I remember that. Homeowners who bought their homes when the market was at its peak are at risk and then can find themselves in this situation, especially if they haven't built up sufficient enough of an equity. Being cautious when buying properties during a market peak is really important. There are several instances when this can happen. For example, if you find yourself in a position that you have to relocate, for example, during a real estate market downfall, or are forced to sell the property for financial reasons, and it happens during a time when the mortgage balance is higher than what you can sell the house for, it will become a serious concern for you. Let's talk a little bit more about the causes. The most common cause of an upside down mortgage is obviously a decline in home values. And when the housing market crashes or experiences a correction, especially if it causes home values to drop rapidly, that's where the highest risk lies. And so homeowners who make minimal down payments are more vulnerable to the market conditions than homeowners that purchase with a higher down payment. A higher down payment is going to reflect on the equity that you have in the property. Let's talk about the consequences. If you decide to sell the property during a real estate downturn, and you owe more on your mortgage than what you could sell the property for, finding yourself in an upside down mortgage. The situation can put you at a really significantly limited financial mobility, unless you are willing to bring money to the closing table to cover the debt owed to the bank. I have not met a homeowner who's actually looking to do that. Assuming that the interest rates come down, you will find it very difficult to refinance your current loan at a higher rate because Banks will be very cautious in lending money or refinancing on a property that is upside down on the mortgage. And this creates a lot of complications for you and selling the property becomes a challenge. You're pretty much tied up, can't make any moves, and this can trap you on your property for a very long time. The thought of just knowing that you made a bad investment is already something that's very difficult to accept. For many people, your home is your largest asset. This particular situation can also affect long-term financial planning. Some people like to leverage the equity in their home for other investments or expenses. It almost feels like the doors have been closed for this period. Some homeowners when they are underwater on the mortgage, make decisions that I will not recommend. They start a strategic default on payments and doing so will definitely resort to a foreclosure. While this seems like a way out from the financial situation, it can have a very long lasting negative impacts on your credit score and your ability to secure a loan or financing in the future. The decision to walk away from a mortgage just because the value of the property is lower than what the debt balance is, is not something that you want to consider. Think of it like this. 
you will be really impacted if such a situation happens. Let's look at this from another angle. Only if you decide to sell the house, only then it could be considered a loss. Because if there's no transfer of title or deed, it might look like a loss on paper, but it's not really an actual loss. So the recommendation would be to continue living in the house. The real estate market always changes. And just because there's one downfall and you are now upside down in your mortgage, doesn't mean that in a year or a few years from now, home values will stay the same. The real estate market has been consistently going up here, year over year. So before we get to the solution, this channel is about helping people who are in distress and cannot keep up with the mortgage payments because of a legitimate hardship. And so if you are in the situation, feel free to reach out to me for assistance and I will guide you to sources where you can get help. If you do have a hardship, you can get assistance that you need to make yourself whole again, okay? Let's move on to the solution now. So as I mentioned before, refinancing the mortgage can be a solution for some of you. There are some government programs that are designed to do just that. Depending on your loan type and the government program, you might be able to refinance with a lower interest rate, even when other options are not really available due to the negative equity. However, the eligibility for this is typically subject to very specific criteria. It's depending on who owns the mortgage or who sponsored the mortgage and which entities are involved. The good news is, there are options that we can look into in order to see if we can find other ways to get you out of this mess. Another solution is a loan modification where the homeowner negotiates with the lender to alter the change. It could be by reducing the interest rates, for example, extending the loan term, and sometimes on occasion, reducing the principal balance. Loan modification is usually utilized as a way to avoid foreclosures, and can provide a sustainable payment plan for homeowners that are struggling with their current mortgages. Securing a loan modification can be a complex process, so be very careful of that. Now, another option is considering a short sale. Now, this option is available, but it does require a qualification. So basically what this means is that the property sold for less than the amount owed to the bank with the lender's agreement to accept and reduce the amount as a payment in full. While it gives the homeowner relief, it requires a combination of qualifications for short sale to even be approved, but it is very possible. We do a lot of short sales and help a lot of homeowners. So if this is something that you want to consider, I have a lot of content on my channel. I talk about the short sale and foreclosures. And if you want to learn more about it, I highly recommend you watch those videos. There's a lot of valuable and good information that can absolutely help you. Well, let's move on to prevention. How do we prevent this from even happening, right? So preventing an upside down mortgage begins with the home buying approach. One thing you could do is considering making a significant down payment that allows for immediate equity in the property that you are purchasing. And it acts as a buffer against potential declines in the market values and therefore decreases the likelihood that in case of a downturn market, if you need to sell the property, it will increase your chances to be able to sell for at or above the current mortgage debt at the time of the sale. In addition to that, when buying a property, it's important to carefully evaluate the financial situation to ensure that you can afford your monthly mortgage payment even during a downtime or personal financial challenges and pay attention to the economic trends. Does it look like they are likely to happen? And stay at a level of buying a house within your means. Choosing the right mortgage is another crucial aspect of preventing an upside down mortgage. Try to get a fixed rate mortgage, which is a safer choice compared to adjustable rate mortgages or even interest only loans. Because when you have a fixed rate mortgage, after a consistent number of payments throughout the long term, you have the peace of mind that knowing that your monthly payment is the same for the duration of the loan and that the more payments you actually make, the less principal you owe. 
unlike the arms or interest only loan. No, really, because if the interest rates rise or when the introductory interest rates end, you might find yourself at a payment that you cannot sustain and this will risk your ability to sell the property and have enough money. Another very important point that I want to make is do not over borrow on your property. Let's say that you have your first mortgage and you build equity and you decide that you want to get a home equity line of credit. Here's where you want to be very careful and proceed with caution on how you use that home equity line of credit. My recommendation is be very conservative about how you use your home equity line of credit. Make sure that you are financially stable to make the payments because you don't want to risk losing your house. Now, here's what I want you to think about. As long as you are living in your house and making the monthly payments, it does not really matter what the market's doing. This will affect investors, people who buy properties and want to flip them in case something like this happens during that time, they are risking losing money. But as long as you keep the property and you only sell it when there's equity, you're good. Real estate is still the best long-term investment. It's not liquid, so be very careful. Make sure you educate yourself about the real estate market. Be cautious when you're buying at the real estate bubble. Be aware of the local economic factors, such as employment rates. When you're well-informed and cautious, you can significantly reduce the risk of finding yourself in an upside-down mortgage. Working with an experienced professional is very important when planning to buy a home or investment property, or even flip it. It doesn't matter. Have a team that understands your goals and can be valuable assets to you. That's why I dedicate this channel to helping homeowners who are grappling with the prospect of foreclosure. It's really a tough spot to be in. I'm here to provide guidance, support, and practical advice to help you navigate difficult times. Whether you use me to help you in your journey or someone else. My mission is to share my knowledge and provide hope and resources to my community. My invitation to you is to keep tuning in because you want to stay informed and just remember that together we can find a way forward. Thank you so much for joining me here on this journey and let's continue to support each other in the world of homeownership. I will see you on the next video.